up, guys? This is Mark back at you with another episode of Obscure Mics. And I am excited about this microphone because it is about as obscure as it gets as far as condenser microphones go. I got with me today the PV Studio Pro. Yeah. I wanted to say 1M, but it's the PV Studio Pro M1. If that's not obscure, I don't know what is. I couldn't remember if it was 1M or M1. But here you go. Take a look at this beautiful bastard. Yeah. The PV Studio Pro M1. I picked this thing up off a uh, Guitar Center uh, used microphones. 30... 30 35 35 bucks i believe uh as far as what i can tell as far as it retails when it was in production i don't think it's in production anymore uh but it was about 199 so 200 dollars mic for 35 bucks can't really beat that so i picked this thing up i was like it's going on obscure mics i like my pv stuff man i've got a pv uh mixer over there that i'm not currently using but i'm trying to figure out a way to use it uh, PV microphones. I've had a PV guitar that I liked a lot. So PV is a name that resonates with me. My dad is, is a musician and he always played on PV, uh, amps and had a lot of PV equipment. So PV is a name that I've known for a long time, uh, and mostly for quality. So I don't, I don't know if you're hearing what I'm hearing, but this mic sounds quality. Sound, sounds like a quality mic. It has a, uh, a roll-off switch and a negative 10 decibel switch, as shown uh, in the picture. And it it has a all-metal build. It has a pretty sturdy metal grill that I can't seem to get any give on. Uh, not microphonic either. This thing, you can touch it. You can caress it. You can, you can kiss it. Mm, oh, not really. I'm not even using a pop filter, and this thing is not picking up the peas real bad at all. I hope that I hope it comes through the video this way, but this thing sounds really good so far to my ears. Hopefully, it comes back on the video like that. Uh, but yeah, PV uh, Studio Pro M1, you should be able to pick it up. My Guitar Center is a great place to keep an eye on because stuff like this will pop on there from time to time. And depending on what store you buy it from, uh, you know, depends on the price. I've seen this on there for 75. I've seen it on there for 60, um, in different locations. I think it's location dependent on how much you pay for this thing, but $35 was an absolute steal. And if you haven't watched my show, uh, about obscure mics, the reason I'm doing it uh, is is mainly for podcasting, a little bit of vocals. Uh, why can we not be sober? Terrible. Big Tool fan. That gives you a little example of what it sounds like uh, singing. But I pick up these mics, and I want to use them for budget podcasting, uh, budget voiceover, and any kind of a good mic you can get cheap. Because I've got a lot of equipment now. But when I started, we're talking newer mics with newer boom arms, which I still use because they're solid. Uh, you know, I bought the cheapest mixer I could find, which I still use because I've bought more expensive ones and I don't like them as well. I think it's one of those things like what you start with is what you love. Kind of like iPhone users, Android users can't switch because they're so used to it. Like I'm used to this thing. I can't switch. I just like it. So does it give me the best sound in the world? Probably not. Uh, am I used to, it? is it functional? Does it resonate with me? Yes. So podcasting, not looking for that award winning sound. I'm just looking for a good quality sound. And that's why I use, uh, some of these obscure mics and oddball microphones. Kind of glad to get away from the Shures. I did two Shures in a row, uh, now switching over to a PV and I'm probably going to bring you another condenser microphone, uh, next video after this. But yeah, if you like the way that this sounds, this is the PV Studio Pro M1. If you're savvy, uh, savvy shopper like I am, you could find it for a really good price. And man, I am impressed with this thing so far. Like I, I really hope this shines through on the video because this, uh, this sounds great. Uh, at least here, this sounds really good. PV, good job, good job on the Studio Pro M1. I. Uh, so far, I'm liking it more than the 990s that I had. 
Uh, definitely better than the Neewers. I had a AKGP 120. I think I like it better than that. And an Audio Technica 2020. It's real close to the 2020. This sounds good. But hopefully, you like this mic. You can pick this up for voice, voiceover, singing, podcasting, whatever it is that you're going to use it for. The PV Studio Pro M1. One more look at it here. It's got a uh, octagon shaped head. Man, I can I can do stuff, and you can't even get the noise pick up through here. Like this is it's a well built microphone. I think I've said that seven times. I'm liking it. Uh, I'm gonna give it the approval. Uh, red light, green light, yellow light. Should you go pick this up at a discounted price? Used green light all day long all day long i haven't used a condenser mic in a little while i've been using the uh, dynamic broadcast mics for the podcast but uh this sucker here might go on my solo pod I-, I might use this for a little bit of voiceover work too i'm i'm digging it peace obscure mics